Affirmative, over. GPS and go! Ground control, GPS and go! It's just started. Uh, this is a rotary wing V on the lift. And so this is the first run. somebody trying to get in at them. They're circling the building at a constant rate, and when they get on the back side of the building, they'll pause and then continue to circle, and they'll continue to do that until they detect uh, any um, government activity of somebody trying to uh, breach their security. This is, for those of you that just arrived, this is the MIT team that's flying. They've already begun the mission, and uh, they have a small rotary wing vehicle that you can see on the monitors. It's, uh, if you've been down to the static display area, it's the one that has the six little um, uh, fixed pitch propellers on it. And uh, you'll also notice around our simulated bank building up here, uh, we have the Those are the UGV, then we're saying that they are in fact safe. And um, if they don't clear the mines correctly, Okay, there are two guys out in the middle of the field out here. Perhaps those are our commandos. The MAV, I'm trying to reacquire. Um, roger that. Uh, stand by. Those are somebody that uh, are going to get rounded up and brought. GPS and go. GPS and go. Judge, be your reason. Take off. Set on camera. Officer, go. And the teams can choose which path they decide to take. Location, again, depending on wind direction. Or it's just a binary piece of information that yes, there is a mine, no, there isn't a mine, and they can be alert that uh, it's going to be coming up soon so that they can clear that mine. At this point, let me ask if there are any questions about anything that I've said or about what we're trying. Yes. Okay. Sam points out that the chemical that's being used uh, for the chemical mine has a low vapor pressure, so it is very difficult to detect the plume coming from that. Uh, when I say it's volatile, I mean that it's, it's so detecting a chemical mine is going to be a very difficult thing under any circumstances. And depending on which way the wind is blowing, uh, you could actually be right next to it and never detect it because the wind could be in an unfavorable direction. Are there any other questions or comments at this point? Okay, barring that, I will go back to listening to the radio and update you.
probably until the MAVs get up there. Now, they just launched MAV-3. That's what we're seeing on the screen. And it will probably proceed to uh, Waypoint uh, Charlie and beyond uh, Waypoint C, and it's moving toward uh, Waypoint D to look for mines on that leg. And part of this also, I think, is uh, taking into account where the red team vehicle is a duck down. Okay, our commandos have moved up to waypoint E. I think has probably run out of uh, batteries and has come down on the ground. Safety pilot has moved in to remove it. 